In December 1953, the State's Reorganization Commission was appointed to prepare for the creations of states on linguistic lines. The Commission, due to public demand, recommended disintegration of Hyderabad state and a merge of the Marathi-speaking region with Bombay state and of the Kannada-speaking region with Mysore state. The State's Reorganization Commission, SRC, discussed pros and cons of the merger of Telugu-speaking Telangana region of Hyderabad state, with Andhra state. Paragraph 374 of the SRC report said the creation of Vaishalandra is an ideal to which numerous individuals and public bodies, both in Andhra and Telangana, have been passionately attached over a long period of time, and unless there are strong reasons to the contrary, this sentiment is entitled to consideration. Discussing the case of Telangana, paragraph 378 of the SRC report said, one of the principal causes of opposition of Vaishalandra also seems to be the apprehension felt by the educationally backward people of Telangana that they may be swamped and exploited by the more advanced people of the coastal areas who were swamped by people of Tamil Nadu already. In its final analysis SRC recommended against the immediate merger. In paragraph 386 it said after taking all these factors into consideration we have come to the conclusions that it will be in the interests of Andhra as well as Telangana, if for the present, the Telangana area is to constitute into a separate state, which may be known as the Hyderabad state with provision for its unification with Andhra after the general elections likely to be held in or about 1961 if by a two-thirds majority the legislature of the residuary Hyderabad state expresses itself in favor of such unification. After going through the recommendations of the SRC, the then Home Minister Pandit Govind Balab Pant decided to merge Andhra State and Telangana to form Andhra Pradesh State on November 1, 1956 after providing safeguards to Telangana in the form of Gentlemen's Agreement.